Now that we've learned the general addition rule, let's apply it to one more problem, our infamous casino problems. And we're going to learn a couple more bets, actually one more bet in particular, the corner bet for this particular problem. So I have two bets placed here. I have one on the four. Oops, I haven't mistaken. Oh, my fault. I wanted it on the four seven split right here and the five nine corner. That's not going to work. I meant the eight eleven split. My, my chip is placed correctly, but my um, typing was not correct. So let me fix that. There we go. That should be fixed now. Sorry about that. Okay, so the 811 split or the 59 corner. Now the 59 corner is these four numbers here and the 811 is the are these two numbers here. So what we want to do is we want to add up the probabilities of each of them, but the issue is that there's an overlap, namely the number 8. Um, because the 8, and this, this chip should be just a little bit over here, but the 8 overlaps with the 59 corner. Right? 8 is in both the 59 corner and this 811 split. Okay, so let's figure out that probability. There we have it. I have it typed up. So it's the probability you win on the 811 split plus the probability you win on the 59 corner minus the probability you win on both of them, right? So you win on the split if you if you play if the ball lands on an 11, but you don't win on the corner. By or by the same token, I'll put it that way, token, get it, token chip, anyway, by the same token, if you bet on, um, if the ball lands on the six, you'll win on your corner bet, but you won't win on your split bet, right? So what's the probability you win on both bets? Well, that would be the eight, right? So if it lands on the eight, you've won on both of them. So let's see here. On the split bet, there's two out of 38 ways to win, because the eight and the 11 are both winners. The 5-9 corner has 4 out of 38 ways to win. But you have to subtract away the chances you'll win on both of them. And the only way that's going to happen is the 8. So if it lands on the 8, you win on both counts. Both the corner bet and the split bet will pay out to you. right? So the way this works in gambling, let's say the ball lands on the 9, you'll win some money from this corner bet, but you'll lose money from the split bet. If the money ball lands on the 11, you'll win money on the split bet, but you'll lose money on the corner bet. The only way you'll win on both bets is if it lands on the 8. Then you'll win money both from the corner bet and the split bet. Okay, so 2 plus 4 minus 1 is 5. So this is 5 out of 38, which is, I believe we actually found that one already. Yep, 0.1316. And there we have it. All right, so that was our first roulette bet that had an overlap to it. And we learned a new bet, the corner bet. And I'm sorry about that little typo there. So on the 811 split. All right, so now let's try another bet. We need to find, oops, and I've, I've got it here. There it is. What's the probability you win on a 22-25 line, so a line bet, or the second dozen. Well, we've seen the second dozen before. The second dozen is the numbers 13 through 24 in the middle of the board there. What's a line bet? So let me go here. So a line bet means you're betting on all six numbers in both rows. So if you look at the example here, it's letter F right there or down here. And you can see placing that chip F there means you're betting on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so for our problem, we're betting on the 2225 line. So this chip right here means you're betting on all six numbers in that line. Plus, you're also betting on this these 12 numbers right here. So you would win on the dozen bet if it lands on a 13, but you'd lose on this line bet. Over here, if it lands on a 27, you'd win on your line bet, but you'd lose on your dozen bet. But there are some places where you would win on both bets, and that's what you have to figure out. So let me type that up real quick. And here we have it. So it's the win on the 2225 line or the win on the second dozen. And then th you could win on the 2225 line plus the win on the dozen, second dozen, minus the win on both. And I know it's all out of 38. It's just a question of how much. So the 2225 line, this chip right here, has six numbers attached to it. So those chances of winning on that bet is six out of 38. Chances of winning on the dozen bet, it's a dozen, it 
12, right? There's 12 numbers in that section. But now we got to figure out the overlap. So there are the 12 numbers right here. Let me give them a box real quick. There we go. So the dozen I've kind of outlined in blue here. And then the green is the line bet. And you can see these three numbers right here, 22, 23, 24, they're in both of them. So they're going to count for both. So we're going to say 6 out of 38 for the line bet. We'll say 12 out of 38 for the dozen bet. And then we'll subtract away 3 because those three numbers are not any more likely than the rest. So you have to subtract away the overlap because otherwise you've counted them twice. If you don't subtract them away, you're counting 22, 23, 24, both in the dozen, that aqua box, and in the green box for the line. And that's not fair. So that's why you have to subtract away the double counting. All right, 6 plus 12 is 18. 18 take away 3 is 15. So 15, and then let's grab a calculator. 15 divided by 38 is 0.3947. And there we have it. I have to remove this word on here just because it's making my um, problem just a little too large to fit on the screen. There we have it. All right, we're all done with that example. I'll see you in the next video when we'll talk about the complement rule.